Hello, welcome back to the Pink Hoodie Podcast, everybody. So it's been a, it's been a while. Um, today's a very special episode. It is a uh, eleven thirteen Eastern Standard Time on September twentieth, twenty twenty two, and I just finished watching uh, the finale of The Bachelorette. Uh, Gabby and uh Rachel I think her name is her season um I used to be a a huge uh bachelor and bachelorette fan uh and then I took mushrooms and I don't really give a shit about that anymore as much but I still do enjoy it and I wanted to give a review and my thoughts um (laughs) of the subject um the funny thing is that I've only seen like 40 minutes of the premiere episode and I watched the the men tell all with my friend Abby shout out to shout out to Abby and um uh two hours of the finale I didn't even watch the full finale um but I've I've wanted to talk about The Bachelor on this show um for a while and uh I thought this is this is the opportune moment um so apparently Rachel was uh fucking this guy named Tino and I think he uh I think he cheated on her. I don't even know if that's true. But uh I think he cheated on her. He seemed he seemed kind of like a sociopath. It was funny how he just like walked out of the room like twice when she was like confronting him. Um I don't know. I didn't see much of Tino. I started watching at like 9 9:12. Uh, PM, so they already had been on for like an hour. Um, but uh, Gabby, Gabby got engaged. Shout out to Gabby. Um, I fuck, I forget who the guy that she uh, got engaged to, but apparently he uh, he was in a relationship right before he uh, auditioned for the Bachelor, the Bachelorette, and uh, but uh, that was such a bait and switch. It made it sound like. In the episode they were gonna like break up but uh nah she forgave him and it was it was very sweet and uh and there's a a new bachelor is in town his name is zach and uh uh i have i have no idea who this guy is because i didn't really watch any of the fucking show this season but uh he seems boring um he's very handsome though um and uh, they brought out like five different uh, uh, bachelorettes uh, or like ladies for his season. Um, and uh, one of them got a first impression rose live on air. Wow. How, how crazy is that? <laughs> um, and uh, so there's five, five girls. Uh, Brooklyn. Um, she looked like she does cocaine. Um, I've been around a, a few girls who've done cocaine. She she seems like a girl that's done cocaine a lot. Um, you can always like tell with like the eyes. Um, anyway, so uh, there's this girl, Cat, who's a dancer. She seems very full of herself. Uh, I, I I don't like it. I don't care for that. <laughs> um, oh, Brianna, um, she came out in a in a pink pink dress, and uh. I think you guys know that I like I like the color pink, and her her boobs were jiggling a lot the way she was walking with those heels, but I liked her the most out of uh, the five, and uh, then you got this girl Bailey, who uh, who came up with this. Uh, she was talking to Zach in the beginning. She was like, "Here's a way to remember my name when you." wake up daily you'll be thinking about bailey or some shit like that and i was like jesus christ how corny are the people like on these fucking shows um i feel like i would be like way better on the bachelor or the bachelorette than these fucking um normies i feel like i would just like be wild for like no reason and i don't know oh and christina Christina did a shot with Zach. Um, oh yeah, I was thinking like I in like 
the bachelor and like the bachelorette like they always like drink and shit like i i kind of want to like start my own uh like bachelor or bachelorette like show but like instead of like them like drinking they just like smoke weed i feel like that would change the whole dynamic of the show i think it would be way funnier um but the, they would never do that because the drug laws in this country are dumb anyway um oh yeah this girl who shows up she uh she hosted a. uh she was like one of the hosts when uh fuck what's his name not chris hansen that's the uh, that's the uh the catch a predator guy um the other chris i think who hosted who got like fired and had to resign but uh this girl caitlin bristow she needs to chill with like the the uh fucking self tanner like literally i remember like she showed up like last season and it looked like she was doing fucking blackface like jesus she needs to fucking relax with that but anyway my thoughts um i forget the get some guy came out with, uh, with rachel <laughs> and uh and like he's like hey you want to talk um after like she got done talking to tino or whatever whatever his name is and then uh they're definitely gonna have sex they're probably having sex right now no nah, it's only oh maybe it's it's 8 p.m in los angeles who knows but uh anyway uh that my thoughts uh overall i'm glad i'm glad gabby got engaged she i like her more than rachel rachel seems kind of boring and unfunny but gabby's got like a good personality and i like her and uh yeah um i actually uh they had like the ads it was like if you want to nominate yourself or someone else to go on the bachelor the bachelorette you can sign up now and i briefly did it <laughs> i signed up for uh the bachelorette i'm not gonna get picked but i thought it was funny um for my occupation i put comedian because i feel like that's way more sounds way more appealing yeah appealing than grubhub driver but who knows i could be wrong and i also nominated my friend abby too so who knows maybe maybe uh uh, the Bachelor or the Bachelorette will free me from uh, financial hardships. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm never going to get on that show. I'm not attractive enough for that. But anyway, I just thought uh, I'd share this brief podcast with you guys. And uh, oh, Bachelor in Paradise is coming up, and that'll be interesting. Um, I've noticed like this show is so like not fun to watch if i'm not like on any substances so i haven't really been watching it uh that often but anyway thank you guys for listening to this stupid nine minute podcast and uh i love you all and i hope you have a great day and happy fall and i hope you all fall in love anyway goodbye everybody